this isn't an educational video. I may be wrong in a lot of things, so... Yo, I'm back! In this video, I'm gonna be building something better. Something cooler. Something better than this one over here. Uh, okay, so uh, it's quarantine. I can't go outside. Uh, I can't take pics. I have Instagram inactive. Holy sh**! I have an idea. To give you a little context, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to become this really, really great artist. You know, good at drawing, good at painting. Right. Of course, I'm kidding, bro. If that were true, I wouldn't be making YouTube videos with a fucking stick. That's my idea, though. I use AI. That's such an overused term. Machine learning. To generate a painting and then post the painting online to my Instagram account. Actually, I don't know. I think I'll just make a new one. But that's the idea. To top it off, I could also make this this generator, this text generator, which would generate, you know, a bunch of inspirational quotes that I could actually use for the images, you know? Image and then caption. Now what would we need? Well, for starters, we need a lot of data, like lots, lots of, of them. them. So for this video, I'll be using the data sets available in Kaggle. So yeah, it's a website. If you guys wanna go, just click the link down below. Let me just explain a little bit about what I'm doing here. I'm actually trying to build a GAN, a general adversarial network. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, then you should probably look it up. It's pretty legit. But the main idea here is simple. Imagine you have a cop and a forger. Now the forger's goal here is to be able to make art that can actually fool everybody. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. While the cop's goal here is to be able to identify whether or not an art is forged or actually legit. Now. These two individuals play a zero-sum game with each other, so whenever the forger gets good at forging, the cop eventually has to catch up and be good at detecting forged pieces of art. This cycle repeats until eventually the cop reaches a point where its predictions are just as good as guessing. What? What the fuck? Now here's the mind-blowing part. So let's take the forger and then completely ignore the idea of the cop. So what we have now is a really, really good painter, right? Now we could use the forger to make more art. Oh my god! Now that's all fun. Uh, even the math behind it is fun. But I can't really explain everything here, so I'll just link a video in the description down below. Uh, make sure to check it out. Now it's time to code it up. For this purpose, I'll be using Keras, a Python library with a TensorFlow backend, to develop the model because, well, it's the easiest one for me. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> Sounds fun, right? 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 <laughs> yeah, it took me an entire day of debugging to get it to work. Although all those hard work, you know, actually paid off. If you could see, well, it did nothing. So I went to Google and found out about StyleGAN. It's, it's a GAN model developed by NVIDIA, which, if you ask me, is actually already good enough. I mean, look at these images. So I train it for three days straight, and yeah, just check the results later on. Just please don't click out yet. Okay, so we're done with the painting. Now let's go to the caption. For this, I'll be using GPT-2 as the base model. So I'll essentially just train it with my own data set, and then yeah. Boom, we have a code generator. So how it works is that for a specific instance of time, it essentially tries to predict which or what the most plausible next word is given a sequence of previous words. Okay, 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 okay. video is probably too long now. You know, let, let's get to the real deal.
Thank you for watching.